Navy's forced to punt, and Church is back, and we get a hand on it as Larry Cole came through. Larry recovered the fumble, and he also he blocked this punt, and it's a short kick, so Steve McCulloch picks it up and runs it back inside the 30-yard line, so we have another break, and uh, we're going to try to get on the scoreboard this time, and we do with uh, Dick Paul. It's a high snap, but Zyro gets it down, and Dick picks a bullet through there, really zapped it against the wind, and uh, so it's a 7-3 ball game at this point in the contest. A lot of a lot of action in the stands, too, as everyone was really fired up for this contest. And, and a great bunch of people watching. And this time, they try the curl, but uh, Mike Wrangles in there this time, number 79. Mike played a great game. He really uh, rushed the passer, so the ball came over. Here's a deep one, way downfield. Sonny lays it out there, and Jimmy Schultz had him beat on the post pattern. Did a great job to get behind him. After all those sideline patterns, he ran at the goal post and, and came up with a touchdown grab from Sonny Litz, a 29-yarder. And so we're in the ball game for real now, 12 to 7. A lot of pressure from Jerry Weingart on Phil Bassey, and he has to uh, cough up the ball again as once again it turns for loss and they have to kick back to the Falcons. So well, this is a 48-yarder, and Dick Hall really hit it. It was against the wind, and it really went right through the middle of the goal post. A tremendous kick, one of the best I've ever seen, and especially against the wind. That had to be maximum range. Uh, and Dick can kick the ball over 50 yards, but the Falcons come away with the first victory over the Navy, 15 to 7. A lot of happy people there, a lot of cadets running around and, and really whooping it up. It's a 